Hello and welcome back to part 2 of the challenge. Boo. Mhm. Anyways, let's deal with this bastard and head out with our car. Today we will be looting the mall for its remaining food or whatever, and exterminate those bastards around. Now that we lured most of those bastards away, we can safely loot this place. Our backpack is full, so we will store the first batch into the trunk and head back in. Give me a break you bastards, just go out and shoot them. Now back to looting. After transferring the loots while killing the bastards trying to disturb my break, we will be luring the zombies again to safely loot the bookstore nearby. After looting the bookstore, we will head back to the parking lot to attach the trailer to our ambulance, and after that we head into the houses and secure a place to sleep for the night. Today we will be heading to the gun store in the outskirts of the town and clearing them bastards again, hoping to get more ammo for our guns. We will be sleeping here as we found out that Brita's weapon and arsenal is incompatible to this location and messed up the loots here. Today, after mulling about, we grabbed anything that seemed useful and headed back to police station to grab other guns that we still have. Ammo. And after this, we headed back to fire station and called it a day. Day 12. Today, he hopped onto our car and decided, it's finally time to take over the prison. And that's what we did. First, we lured some of the bastards that are on the parking lot away, and burned them there, and level up our stealth as we do so. Now we headed back to prison and deal with the remaining bastards that are blocking our way into the armory. And the Clumsy Bastard Award goes to Oh, nice shooting after that pathetic show. Anyways, after clearing with these bastards, we headed back to check if the place is clear. And it wasn't, huh? At least I can get a break. Anyways, here we go again. Finally, now we can sneak into the armory. But first, we secured the stairs by placing a table in the entrance. Now that the fatigue has reached its maximum level, we decided to sleep until we are able to fully recover. After waking up in the middle of the day, we looted the armory as quick as possible and leave the prison. Every second we spend here, those bastards will slowly flood in the building and trap us here. Time to leave this forsaken place, for now we will head back to the fire station and properly rest there. Day 14
I already said it. Anyways, today we decided to loot the houses on the other side of the fence and clear the dead zombies on the room that we will use to sleep. That's the sound of water cutting off. Anyways, today we will continue on looting houses, grabbing everything that is useful. After transferring the goods to the trailer, we headed to the gas station with our car only and refill the gas. And we decided to spend the night there. Today's goal is to find Jack to level up our mechanics so that we can hotwire any cars we find. Oh, nice. Now kill that bastard and grab the jack. As we continue to search through the cars, we found a sports car with hockey. For now, we went back to our safe house and reads all the magazines we have and spend the night. Today we will level up our electrical and metalworking skills. Read a book for a while and then sleep. Today we will be leveling up mechanics, so we head straight to one of the cars, but we still lacking the knowledge, so we went back to searching through houses and look for a magazine to help us learn how to uninstall the parts of the cars. After that, we decided to stay in a room for the rest of the day and read magazines that we found as we searched and sleep. Now that we finally have the knowledge to dismantle cars, we will now try to level up our mechanics. Boo. Ah, uh, you bastard. Here, eat my boots. Now that's enough scary time. Time to sleep. Back to grinding mechanics. That's enough for today. Time to sleep. Wake up, you moron. You lucky bastard. Why don't you just get bitten and give me a long break? Finally, now we can hotwire. So first things we did is get us a police bus. Since we have the RV interior mod, we can use it as our storage. So we go around and grab some crates and box, while we do so. We finally make us a rope only access base and spend a few days there exercising till we reach a good level of fitness and strength. 10 days after, we finally reached half. For now we'll rest till it's morning and go around town and kill some bastards that wandered in, and search the remaining houses as we do so. After that we decided to level up carpentry to create more storage containers in the bus. After reaching level 2, we went back and exercised more. After leveling fitness, we read carpentry volume 2 and sleep. After we woke up, we continued to read the book and disassemble some furnitures, and read Mechanics, Volume 2, and sleep. Today we will focus on leveling up carpentry and make storage box inside, then transfer some items from the trailer to the bus before we go to sleep. Today we will be gathering more storage boxes and completely move all of our items into the bus. The video will end here, for the next video we will be moving on to a new location. So if you don't want to miss it, consider subscribing to the channel, and like the video. If you enjoyed it, any feedbacks is and will always be appreciated. Good Goodbye.